uh, I said bring it on. What are you going to do different? If you couldn't pull off a win last night with all of that money, what are you going to do in the next two months? Well, um, a special election is a very compressed cycle, as you know. You're politely saying that just as a candidate, he was kind of stiff. I, I heard you say trained. I thought uh, he felt looked last trained. night. Too soon to be the first office you're running for. Why Congress? Why aren't you running for something else? You're 30 years old. I thought there was a little bit of arrogance going on there. <laughs> Young Democrat John Ossoff came up short against a splinter GOP field, failing to reach the 50% threshold. Democrats, meanwhile, simply not able to come up with the votes to get their candidate all the way way over the finish line. It's going to be really hard to sustain the momentum here for John Ossoff, and that's going to be a big part of why, uh, you know, Democrats, I think, are discouraged that he couldn't get there. My inbox this morning has been flooded by Democrats who are sort of saying Ossoff was a terrible candidate. Oh. He wanted to avoid this runoff election with Karen Handel, but he was unable to get 50% of the vote. It really feels like the energy was potentially expended here. He kind of disappointed. He didn't win outright, no, and he, he may not win the runoff, no, but Democrats to be clear, Karen Handel does hold the advantage in that runoff election in June, a very uphill climb for John Ossoff. And I do think the Democrats, they blew a golden opportunity. So bring it on. Bring it on and it is coming.